I know how to give CPR. No, thank you. Well, uh, uh, why don't I just try it, and if you hate it, I'll stop. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>I reacted to Bob's Burgers once already, but you guys have flooded my comment section requesting a part two. So I'm here to deliver. Bob's Burgers is an animated American sitcom that centers on the Belcher family. Despite their restaurant always walking a fine line on going out of business, their health seems to walk a fine line at times too. Last time, their medical situations were hilarious. Can't wait to see what we're in for today. But before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doc that deals with every medical situation that you could think of. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please smack the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. I can't stop now, Lynn, not until I can erase Bob's socks. What's wrong with your hand? Nothing. Oh my God. Oh God. Red rum, red rum. Uh oh, Bob, red you better rum. go easy. You could have the carpal tunnels. It's just a cramp, I, mean, I must be dehydrated. <laughs> Look at his hands. <laughs> carpal tunnel has to do with basically a tunnel that's formed in our hand and there's basically something called a retinaculum. People get carpal tunnel surgery where they basically snip that retinaculum and open it up so you get pressure off the nerve and then hopefully your symptoms go away. This can't happen now. Oh, no. Maybe I should see a doctor. Good. Otherwise I might have to stop playing. Ah. <laughs> Please tell me they shoot webs. Are we finally getting a falcon? I love it. Flattering, like wrist corsets. The doctor said with these splints and these pain pills, I should be good to go. Oh, he didn't tell you to lay off the game? No. So he's got wrist splints on there, so he probably was diagnosed potentially with like carpal tunnel. These wrist splints get you into a relaxed position to try to decrease inflammation, and he's probably taking medication having to do with inflammation. Whenever you lie, your eyes get crossed a little. The doctor said the last thing. Look, they're crossing. Want. I'll just shut him. Ready? <laughs> he said the last thing you want to do is stop playing. He's so full of it. Right, exactly. Unless the doctor's a gamer, and that's why he says keep at it. You are ruining our perfect day right now! Oh my god, am I your hero? Uh -oh. Oh, sick. Fun hurts my lungs! We're stuck up here. This was a stupid I idea. Know. He's having trouble breathing. Okay. Haven't gone this long. Without my inhaler! Oh no! So he's probably got asthma. You can hear him wheezing. So when you actually hear somebody who has bad asthma having audible wheezing, definitely need to get your inhaler. And the inhaler in that situation is a rescue inhaler, which is typically albuterol. One to two puffs and you inhale it in. Well, let's see what's going on with his breathing. I'm supposed to use it every two hours or I could die! Typically, an inhaler is used every four to six hours. If you need an inhaler every two hours, you need to use other medication. What? But I'm sick of that thing. Uh, okay, where's your inhaler? In my backpack. Oh no, no, he threw his backpack. Um, I made him ditch it. What? But don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. When somebody has an asthma attack, airways get narrow. One of the most common reasons why people come to the emergency department with asthma attack is actually running out of medication. Accidents happen. Right now, we just have to get Rudy his inhaler. <laughs> I think I'm coming around. <laughs> I think I'm getting better. <laughs> no, nope, getting worse. Yes. Oh, oh boy, oh uh, CPR. I know how to give CPR. No, thank you. Well, uh, uh, why don't I just try it? And if you hate it, I'll stop. No. <laughs> okay, no. Basically, in this instance, he's still breathing. He's still talking, meaning his heart is still beating. He does not need CPR. Wow, you could hear how the audible wheezing actually changed when it got really bad, really high pitched noise. And they gave three puffs on the inhaler. Doing two at home, even three, is totally fine and appropriate. If you're somebody who's requiring your albuterol all the time, every single day, you need to see a pulmonologist and basically get further evaluated. Welcome to Transylvania. Get it? Nice, Soon nice. we will drain you of one pint of your human blood. Then you can relax here and enjoy cookies and juice. Oh boy. Uh, okay, I saw it. Now I'm leaving. <coughs> oh, negative. <laughs> what? <coughs> oh, negative. <laughs> oh, neg? Really? 
Oh, well, well, well! Oh, there you go, that's hilarious. O negative blood, that's like the universal donor. We need that kind of blood. It can just be given to anybody, no matter what their blood type is, especially in an emergency situation. Think about donating if you're able to. Not every day we get to suck a universal blood donor's blood. Oh, there you go. There I'm you not go. donating blood. Uh, seriously? You're O neg, but you're not gonna donate? Hey, just think of how happy you could make someone. Hey, mister, <laughs> you saved my life, and now I'm gonna go out and save the rainforest. Fine, I'll donate my... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're all set. Now it's time for... Hey, that's an amazing well, Big Bird go. costume. Ah! You felt that? Yes! But I distracted you. I like the attempt of distraction. That's pretty good, but you still need to make somebody aware that you're gonna do it. My arm still feels it when you shove a needle in it. Oh, boy. Uh, what? Ah, it looks like I didn't find a vein. That's the worst. I stick... A needle in like the big major blood vessels that I can see like with an ultrasound, which is a lot easier than a peripheral IV. What? Hey, uh, look at that uh, Star Wars <laughs> costume. Space, am I right? Ooh. Wow! Did you get it? No, 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 not in. Your veins roll away from the needle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sometimes people's veins are fragile for different reasons. Sometimes people's veins roll for different reasons, meaning they move out of the way. And if you're somebody who knows that they have bad veins, basically what you can do is hydrate really, really well. That way it at least increases your blood plasma level. Let's try the other arm. Okay, really make a fist this time. Hey, oh, look, uh, there! <laughs> so he can't just randomly just be stabbing. Again, this needs to be kind of clean and sterile, right? So you need to be using skin cleaning agents because our skin is covered in bacteria. Even if we're clean, we can cause you to get an infection. You said you were very good with Needle weenies. You're the worst weenie I've ever had. <laughs> needle weenies. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I, I, I think I'm all done. Oh, he's done. Nice. At least I got a line in him. It's gonna take all my blood. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna rip this out of my arm. Oh, you're gonna be a bloody mess. There. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay. That bag is a specific volume, so he's not going to just continue to bleed into the bag. It, it'll eventually stop. People try to pull out their IVs all the time when they want to leave the hospital. Don't do that. It's just like a hose of blood that's just going to pour right out. Oh, oh. Ah! Oh. oh, there it is. So in that situation, if you ever feel like you're going to faint, best thing, I always tell all my patients, sit down. And then even if you still feel lightheaded at that point, lay down flat. If you do pass out, you're closer to the ground and you're not going to cause yourself injury. And the other thing I'm going to tell you about people people passing out. Don't try to get right back up after you pass out, because you're gonna pass out again. Hi, Tammy. What's wrong? My nails are gross. Can someone here file them? Um, that's not mm. really what we do. Oh, um, it will be when you do it. <laughs> I noticed you're scratching oh your head. Yeah, maybe I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> now I'm wearing a hat! Oh, no! Oh, no! I bet they're all got lice now. Oh, no. It could be. Oh my god, oh. yes. Lies! Lies. Oh no. You're all yeah, exposed. Lies. We're in quarantine, people. Head lice. Literally, they're flies that are like buried in the hair. It's really easily treated. There's like shampoos that you can use. They kill them and you comb it out. And typically it only takes about one treatment and it's over the counter at the pharmacies here in the United States. Ah! <laughs> I can't have lice. I go to private school. This is public school. What? I just hope my body is strong enough to fight off lice and asthma at the same time. What's uh going on? We oh have a serious God. lice outbreak at Wagstaff, Mr. Frond. Good news, everyone. I found a cure for lice. Finally. So it's quick, all natural, but pretty cutting edge. Bring on this wonder drug. It's probably hemp. Yeah, is it a hemp? It's probably hemp. Or just give it to me. I'm shaving heads. Oh, what? Yeah. A lot of times if it's really bad, you can shave someone's hair off. Cleans off the scalp and there's no more bugs. And burning hats! No! Oh, no! no. I'm just going right here and plug Poor it right face. into the wall. Ah! Ah! No! no. Ah! Oh, no! Let's talk again about who's getting shaved and Oh, she's gonna do it. Bam! Yeah. No joke, don't mess with the school nurse. I'm really not liking this plan. Oh. I have information. Timmy. That was a good try, though. But she doesn't have lice. She has dandruff! Look at it! No way. Glorious dandruff! Dandruff, yes. Dry scalp. There's different treatments for that. Usually it's a fungus that's causing that. Or just dry skin, but usually it's a fungus. And you can use salsum blue, Neutrogena, all these different types. 
But why are we all scratching? <laughs> Damn, that's not contagious. It's psychosomatic. It's psychosomatic. Our brains are making us have the symptoms. We get it a lot of times people will have different things called somatization, basically where they think they have the symptoms of something and they actually manifest them. The power of suggestion. Just say the word lice and everyone itches their heads. Nurse Liz, please read from this medical encyclopedia the marked passage, <laughs> how dandruff is often misdiagnosed as lice. Oops. You can't read it because you don't have your glasses. What's it, what are you trying to say, <laughs> Antonio? Oh man, so she shaved her head for no reason. It's horrible, the hair will grow back. Anyways, I really like Bob's Burgers. This is a really funny show. I really hope that I get to do more react videos to this. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episodes in the comments below, or if I missed any Bob's Burgers medical scenes that I should include in another video. And if you wanna see me react to video games, check me out on the Experts React series on Gameology. As always, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more fun videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.